Hi, I'm Dustin and I'm here to show you how I record punk songs from beginning to end. This is my son, Logan. Say hi. Hi! So it usually starts with us playing Legos or something and I have my guitar handy. So I'm gonna show you a little voice memo that I just recorded that's gonna be the basis of this song. So as you can see, that's not much to go on, but at least it was suitable for a verse melody. And that was just a result of me playing some chords randomly um, for about a minute or two, and then that popped into my head, so I recorded it. And next I'm gonna try to develop it a little further and come up with a pre-chorus and a chorus and some main riffs to put the song in some kind of um, cohesive order. Okay, so here's that idea fleshed out a little bit. So in this case, I basically went for the one minute, 30 second standard format of a pop punk song. Uh, what's different a little bit uh, for this song is I started with a power chord progression rather than open chords. Open chords sometimes lead to a different kind of um, melody or arrangement, but this just felt right at the time and it was just the result of picking up the guitar and seeing what came out. Another thing that is obvious is that I use nonsense words. Um, just as markers, and melodic markers uh, for the song. And there's going to be a lot of room for changing that around a little bit as I decide what the concept of the song is going to be. Um, in the past, I used to, usually would start with a topic or a song title uh, and then build lyrics and melodies around that idea. But in this case, it's just a tune, you know, just a tune that I'm creating. And later I will try to adapt uh, a title that seems to fit and uh, lyrics that seem to fit the tone of the song and the feeling and energy of the song. So this song is going to be called Born to be Odd. I'll come up with that title and next I'll be writing some lyrics. But first I have to finish lunch and reading. Hi, so I have uh, finished the lyrics and I will share them with you now. Basically, I wrote the song about someone who feels odd and excluded and misperceived by the world at large. And, uh, you know, it's a fairly universal song meant for the pop punk audience of weirdos like myself. So I ended up just kind of writing it all um, from the vocal melodies that I established in the earlier video and um, got everything I need now to start recording. Okay, so it's time to start recording drums. I'm playing on a Roland electronic drum kit. I've got um, my MacBook Air with GarageBand loaded up. Audio track is just your basic input track or like microphone input. Headphone jack. This is a USB instrument cable that's actually from uh, Ubisoft, which makes the video game Rocksmith. That's the same cable that they use with that video game. and I've been using it for years. Works pretty well. Uh, very little latency issues. And uh, this 
is plugged into a one eighth, one eighth of an inch uh, adapter so that it can plug directly into the headphone jack of the Roland uh, console. I have the volume level uh, maxed out on the uh, on the drums, and I'm actually going to be using the metronome on GarageBand, and I've set the tempo to 260 beats per minute. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I miraculously recorded the drums in a couple of takes, uh, nothing fancy, just keeping the time basically, and now I'm going to go upstairs and track guitars. Okay, so I just moved my operation upstairs, I'm going to be tracking guitars now on my Gibson SG. Some of you may recognize this guitar, it was David Jones's guitar, it was an enemy U. Um, so this is uh, my setup, I've got GarageBand. And I usually start with one guitar track and under gis distorted guitar or crunch guitar, you can find some good options. So the one that I've been using lately is, uh, let's see, Broken Up Brit has a nice tone. It's distorted, but not too much. And um, that's gonna be my first guitar track. And then I'm gonna double it with a different amp setting in a different channel. So after the first guitar track, I'm gonna pan it all the way left in the mix and then start a new guitar track and play the same rhythm track panned all the way to the right. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to take Okay, so next is bass. We have uh, here a Squire Jaguar bass. I've had this for six or seven years, I think. It's a nice instrument, it stays in tune and does its job. Um, and earlier I showed you David Jones's guitar that his family gave me after he passed away. Today would have been his uh, 48th birthday. Shout out to Kalen for um, giving me that news. So here's what's going on in GarageBand. I have a uh, big stack selected, which is the bass amp that I always use. And uh, I don't really change any of the tone settings. I just plug in and go for it. And um, yeah, bass line might be cool, might not be. We'll see what happens. And I'm gonna try for a take, so wish me luck. Okay, so I'm here in my car recording vocals now, as per usual, and it's nighttime because that's the only time I can do it. And I got my garage band set up. I have narration vocal settings, uh, and I'm gonna double track the vocals. And I'm right in the middle of doing a take right now, so this is the chorus. Born to be odd, born to be odd, born to be odd, mistreated and uncool. Born to be odd, born to be odd, Born to be misperceived as a fool. You know it's true. Okay, so here I am in GarageBand. I have my mix more or less situated um, where I have uh, my drum track, two guitar tracks panned left and right, respectively. Got my bass track, and I've got a whole bunch of vocal tracks on there, but essentially it's two lead vocals that are doubled and panned center and then two uh, backing vocal tracks for harmonies and backups. And I tried to mix it so that the vocals were slightly uh, less loud than the guitar. I also have a master track setting on this, which is uh, rock, which is a factory master setting. And now it's all set to go, so I'm just gonna be mixing it down. And um, from there, I'm going to upload the 
uh, M4A file to Lander website, which is the mastering website I use. Okay, here I am in uh, my library for Lander, which is the we website I use for mastering. And I've just uploaded the M4A that I exported from GarageBand, so now I'm going to master it. And I usually just go for balanced medium. Let's see how that sounds. Here, the original. That's pretty good. And now it's going to be mastered, and then I will uh, save it as a wave, and that'll be the finished song. So then I'll just upload that to Bandcamp and be finished. Nobody relates to me. I'll reset my eccentricity. Only opportunity is to be alone. Don't know how I got this way. Made fun of for all I do and say. It's any price to pay. Face it on my own. Why can't they see? I'm trying to be me. It's not a character on the side. Come on. Everybody thinks I'm lame. Creativity stifled by shame. Now I am the one to blame. Destiny foretold. They cannot accept. I feel so inept. They all sarcastic. 